these black players mm. for their intelligence. Because his intelligence is amazing. Don't they'll never say that about Kante. Like it's almost they know that they should say it, but they're like, oh, he's black. We can't call him intelligence, but we can say that for for Hopus, but we can't. But he's showing intelligence here, but they'll never say that. But my thing is like when I saw how he changed his game for Sari, how he was bad, he was rusty. I said, look, man. Can't he can't, can't play football. He's, he should be nowhere near any of the final third. But he got better. He got better. He got better. Mm. And he had the audacity to become Chelsea's highest midfield goal scorer, <laughs> which is insane. A guy moving in a new role was the. I mean, mm. Barkley Kovacic, you should be you should feel ashamed. But when, you, when I just saw him in this game, I mean, we have to really think about where does Kanti now rank, bro? Like you know, I was calling about my top five. Okay, you know, I, I have Hazard. I've got Messi. Probably going to rule in Marcelo. People say Mbappe. But I can't think it might be top five. Mm. So so basically, if we say, for me, if, I, if we say Messi, Van Dijk, Hazard, I've, I've got to Google, I've got to put the Kante in there. Do you have him above the brain? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. With my chest, yes. Okay. Come, come for me, yes. Above the brain. Mm. Based, remember, it's based off the role that he does because attacking players will always get more shine. Hence why, I have Van Dijk ahead of the Bruyne based on what he does for his role. Based on what Kante does for it, nobody does what Kante does. Mm. No one does. Yeah, I, people, the guys that, that, that do what the Bruyne does, what Kante does defensively and offensively, no one does it. So for that, bro, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's difficult. I'm a big fan of the Bruyne. Obviously, mm. minus what he did at the World Cup, which was scandalous, especially disciplining in that semi-final. Scandalous. But mm. it's, it's difficult because, again, maybe I'm shy about what we did today because today was absolutely amazing. But then I watch him on a week-to-week basis and he's near enough like that every single game. So it is consistent with him. It's very And then, obviously, everything that you said, but also interceptions of reading of the game, interceptions. Like, look, you don't, you're not just a pace and power merchant if you're able to read <laughs> yeah, the game like yeah, that. You yeah, have yeah, to have yeah. really high football IQ. And even then, he's making runs off the ball, able to dribble past players. Like He's got so much to the game. He's very multifaceted. So... He's definitely up there. I mean, of course, we're talking about top five Premier League, easily top five Premier League, hundred percent. When people easy, have their debates and say, "Oh, Kane, Aguero, all the other," I'm like, "No, Pogba, no, you got to put Kanti in that." Has easy, oh no, easy, easy. And easy. in the world, it's it's a difficult one. I mean, certainly in this position, no. Where do you rank him, bro? Where do you rank? Rank that boy, rank him, rank him. <laughs> Where do you rank that guy? Come on, especially with Hazard not here. Ah, <laughs> right, fuck, I'm gonna, I'll put a top five. I'll put a top five. So, but. I need a number position because top five is too much easier. Thing. What number? Five, four, right. three, two. So basically, name your top yeah. five there, I and mean, where does Kanti fit in? in Leonardo number one, number two. I'm gonna roll with roll Zod, of course. Hey. Number three, I will put Neymar there. I know, obviously, in our half of football heart, he's a bit of a uh, Neymar three, a controversial figure. But I mean, at his prime, obviously, without the injuries and everything, Uber at his best. on. <laughs> you're you're putting an, an Uber Eats player number three, bro. Okay, fair enough, man. That's your list, hey, man. Yeah, I mean, I ain't putting an, an Uber Eats player number three, but there you go. Uh, I've got I've got a name in that number three. I've got a name in number three. And number four, if you round up for what he's doing, you got to put Van Dijk in. What he's mm. doing right now, Van Dijk. And you know what? Number five, I'm not trying to think of a reason to put somebody else ahead of him, but there's nobody that I can think of. So. I mean, but, I mean but, there's that one guy in the Serie A. He scores a lot of goals. Old guy, been oh, there around. Oh, that dude. Quagliarella. Is, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he Portuguese? No, no, he's Italian. Quagliarella, that guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a guy. He's a top scorer last season in Italian league. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Scored more than that. Um, that model guy. He plays yeah, 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 Portu- yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that Portuguese headdress. I think he he plucks his eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah, he does. Yeah. But okay, so counting number five. Yeah. So, you put so Messi, number- Hazard, Neymar. Van Dijk. So, so, so where would you say Kante's strongest position is? Because, bro, this guy can play anywhere. Box to box, it has to be. When you can't play lone DM, because you're just wasting his ability. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. so many times where he was the furthest guy in our press, because he got the energy to go up and down. And even then, you look at him off the ball, sometimes I was just watching him, just him. He makes really good ball runs off the ball, yeah, even yeah, yeah, behind yeah. the defence. So no, no, no. But I think no, he what, can do everything. What is so shocking about it is that, <laughs> yeah, guys get me into when I say, okay, Torreira is the most complete football player. Oh, bro, I was on you when you were saying easy, that. Bro. Easy, chill. Look, man, I was, I was, I was drinking, I was drinking. I was right. drinking, I was yeah. drinking, man. But <laughs> what I would say is that, yeah, mm. officially now, Kante is the most complete football player in the world. Yeah, as far as defensive quality, midfield quality, offensive quality, he's the most um, complete player in the world, man. All right, man. Remember, guys, just running off again, man. Support your boy on the Patreon. The description is in the link below. Support your boy, man. Give a, you know, remember, you donate a little um, amount each month. There's a brick tier, a first team tier, start tier. And then you will get rewards based on what you contribute. Your contribution is what helps support your boy HH in his venture here, man. So, um, Mr. Ford, man. Final words, man. 
for this loss, man? Um, doesn't really feel like a loss, Cricks. to be honest. <laughs> I mean, the way it 